Hey folks, just here to, this morning to shoot a quick video, try to get a last minute contest entry in for a contest that I think is pretty cool. Um, Horror Biz, Chad over at Horror Biz has just hit 100 um, subscriptions and, and is doing a contest uh, showing uh, artists, regional artists. Um, and I am just really kind of getting into his channel. I, I've watched enough to know that the Chad's um, uh, tastes are a little different from mine. Um, so I think I'm going to learn a lot from his channel. But I kind of uh, really started getting into there because I had seen a uh, contest entry from uh, Jolly Roger. And he was talking about the artist in his region. And I thoroughly enjoyed uh, that video and, and knew I wanted to do my own. And so uh, that's what I'm going to do this morning. So let me hurry up and get into this. And uh, if you uh, are not subscribed to, um, to Horror Biz, I'll put a link in the description. Get over, give him some subs, and let's give a little shout out to Jolly Roger too, because uh, I wouldn't to have known about this contest without without his entry. Um, and I'll put a link in there. Both of these guys, uh, Horror Biz, I think, is around the same amount of subs that I am now, um, and and Jolly Roger's just getting started too. So both of these guys, hey, if you are watching this and don't know them, get over, subscribe. Um, but let's get into this entry. First, uh, this may seem a little bit unusual, but if we're going to talk about uh, regional musicians, um, there's one guy, and he's not a musician, but I always think about him as far as um, great artists that are native to my area of the country. Um, so I'd like to dedicate this entry to uh, the great Jim Varney, who has passed uh, around 2000, I think, shortly after 2000. You'll best remember him as uh, Ernest. Um, but Jim Varney is from Lexington, Kentucky, and um, he did. He's a He's a very trained actor, Shakespearean trained. Um, there's a, uh, my hometown growing up was Danville, and there's a theater there called uh, Pioneer Playhouse, where Jim Varney uh, honed his craft. Um, loved this man, loved his humor. Um, so this is dedicated, this entry is dedicated to his memory. All right, so let's get into it. Um, first, where area am I from? Um, I am a, a Kentuckian. Uh, I grew up in Danville. I went to uh, college at Berea College. Both of those cities are in the central part of the state. I now live in Louisville. My roots actually probably go more to eastern Kentucky because my... Uh, grandfather and uh, was a he was a uh, World War II veteran and a coal miner down in Harlan, Kentucky and um, that's where he's buried and I think my family moved to Danville because uh, my uncle Roger uh, he got uh, I believe it was meningitis and lost his hearing and that's where the Kentucky school for the deaf is uh, located. And so, <clears throat> you know, my mom had left and we were in Virginia and then came back to Kentucky, so that's where we landed. And I, from about third grade on, I was in Danville until I went to Berea. And then after I left Berea, I came to Louisville. All right, so I want to give a give a few quick honorable mentions to some uh, Kentucky musicians that uh, are not from my area. Uh, I, I thought I'd focus mainly on, on musicians from my area, but there's some that I'd, I've just got to mention. First of all, you got to know, as a Kentuckian, 
you have to be proud of, of Loretta Lynn, the coal miner's daughter um, from Butcher Holler. Loretta Lynn. Also want to do kind of an honorable mention for the Rambo family, particularly Dottie Rambo, who is a legendary gospel songwriter. I've shown this in my uh, in my thread response to Kylie Milder's Family Ties. I was going to pick another album, but I couldn't find another one with a good picture of Dottie right there in the center. And of course, her daughter, Reba, who spectacular artist in her own right but uh, yeah the Rambos they're from Kentucky um, and also Stephen Curtis Chapman um, thought I would show this album Deep Roots it was you as you can see uh, well, he's from Paducah Kentucky which is more the western part of the state uh, as you can see, uh, this CD came out on the prestigious uh, Cracker Barrel label. Um, that's uh, I'm being silly, but uh, that this CD is really good. What I like about this is he does a lot of hymns on this um, album, but they're done. He really has some strong country roots, and, and they show uh, on this. Uh, CD um, and so there like I said there are a lot of hymns on the CD he uh, does a few of the the big songs from his career uh, but this is a very different album from what he normally does and I really really think this is a, a tremendous CD so um, so let's start with with uh, in Danville, okay, the city of first. Right now, also claiming the 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 uh, monikers of title town and city of champions because both the uh, Danville Admirals and the Boyle County Rebels, the two high schools in town, both won state championships in football this year. Um, so. But it's known as the city of first. It was the first capital of Kentucky uh, before they moved the capital to Frankfurt. And um, I'd have to dig up the history on the reasons why. But anyway, Constitution Square is uh, held in in uh, Danville. The state constitution is there. Um, little town, uh, you, if you Google it, or YouTube it up, you'll see some clip film clips where it's named one of the great small towns in America. Um, not to romanticize it too much, but it is. It was a nice place to grow up. It's a great place to retire. Um, but in Danville, uh, who's from Danville? First of all, I I don't have a CD to show from this group, but Montgomery Gentry. Their roots start in Danville. Um, Troy Gentry was from Lexington, and and uh, Eddie Montgomery, I think, was born in Danville. And uh, I believe he has a steakhouse there. Um, but if you look, if you YouTube the video, um, Montgomery Gentry, Our Town, then you'll see the area where I grew up because they filmed that video in Danville and, and around Lexington. Um, good group. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of theirs, but uh, I like that song. I can't believe I don't have the album at least where it, that has Our Town. Um, anyway, uh, who else is from Danville? Larnell Harris. Um, a lot of people probably won't know this gentleman because he's a gospel singer. Um, brilliant vocalist, um, mostly referred to as, as being from Louisville these days, but, but he's from Danville. He went to the same high school I did. He's older, so it wasn't at the same time. He was there before I was. But, uh, this gentleman is a 
is a brilliant singer. Uh, Grammy Award winning for his duets with uh, Sandy Patty. Uh, I've Just Seen Jesus, uh, which is the title of this album. And uh, wow, I can't, all of a sudden I'm blanking on the, um, on the other big, big duet that they had. But Larnell, um, probably a little bit of a tough history. Uh, his vocal style is, is very trained. He is, he is an exceptional tenor, world-class tenor. But he gets dinged for not having, for not singing black enough, which is a shame. Let an artist be who they are. Okay, this man has world-class pipes that, that just, he doesn't need to apologize for anything that he does. He is, he is a great, great singer. Um, I need to get more, more uh, of his albums. So that's Lauren L. Harris. Uh, next up, Allison Durham. I actually know Allison. I sang in a uh, youth group with her. Uh, she's gone on now. She she has has a great voice as well. In fact, Sandy Patty was really popular at the time when she was kind of coming up through high school, and uh, she has those kind of powerhouse vocals. And they would often. I know often she would be asked to sing songs that. Um, Patty had recorded, um, and in fact, I've even seen a YouTube video where Larnell Harris, uh, who, you know, famous for his duets with Sandy Patty, uh, didn't have Sandy, Sandy Patty there, so he sang, Allison sang her part, um, so that's always cool, I get to see Allison, she's now this, she's married into the Spears, family the southern gospel group um so it's allison durham spear now uh, but she and she does probably her her style of music is more in the southern gospel area but uh you know i, I see her on gaither videos um and that's cool now, i haven't seen allison since i was a teenager but um i've always appreciated her her talent all right so Let's move about 40 minutes uh, east of Danville and go to Berea. I want to talk a little bit about this group, the Penny Loafers. They're a vocal group that um, closely associated with uh, Berea College. Um, there are three guys on this album, uh, Kevin Slimp, Alan Pike, and Michael Hunt. Uh, I went to college with all three of those guys. This guy, I think his name's Dan Zier. Um, I I don't know him. Uh, probably a wonderful talent, but I don't know him. Uh, Nathan Platt was was singing his uh, part during the the years I was in Berea. But this this group was so exceptional, and they've got newer stuff which I need to pick up. Uh, but uh, just an amazing, amazing vocal group. I think most of, I think Kevin and Alan and, and um, I don't know, Michael's moved, so I don't know if he's still in the group or not, but at least Kevin and Alan, I think, are still in the area and still performing. The guys are amazing acapella. Just, just a tremendous group. So, um, Proud to have known them. Good guys. All right, so that's the uh, Penny Loafers. Now, this next artist is uh, more of a Lexington artist, um, which uh, I've never lived there, but I've been there a lot. I've been there to watch the Wildcats play. I used to go up there a lot. Well, in Danville, you know, we're not, we weren't like a backwoods town. <laughs> that you can't get anything in Danville. But, especially growing up as a teenager, the fun thing to do if you're in Danville is get in the car and go to Lexington. 
And uh, but a buddy of mine knows this saxophone player, Brooks Giles, tremendous, tremendous sax player. And I'm going to include him in this video because he's been playing a lot here in Louisville. Now, I've gone up and seen him twice now at uh, Jimmy Can't Dance. Always a treat to listen to him play. Um, I, I did a video. He's featured in one of my recent videos um, in the title even. So you can go back and look for Brooks Giles. I'll show you this. I, I really do love that picture of him blowing. And they set it right in the, the uh, jewel case. So... Um, I won't, I won't talk a lot about Brooks, just but he is such a nice guy. Um, I've really enjoyed becoming friends with him. And um, boy, if you ever see any of us, he, he's got two CDs. Now, I don't know where you'd get either one of them. If you happen to stumble across one in the wild, you better pick it up. Super rare, but well worth it if you can find it. Brooks Giles. Okay. Sticking with jazz, Harry Pickens, what a piano player. He, he is so, such a wonderful pianist. Uh, tall, lanky guy. His fingers have a wingspan. <laughs> he, he's just, but I, I have appreciated Harry. He's a deep, deep individual. Uh, very thoughtful, plays his music to be meditative, and and um, but he's just I've saw I saw him once back before. Um, I'm trying to remember what the club was. I think it might have been called Jazz Factory. I don't know. It, there was a jazz club downtown that closed, and I saw him play there once. With again, Dave took me, and he was. Harry was just phenomenal, and again, su such a wonderful individual. Um, I'm sure I've gotten lucky and found. I've got about three of his albums, and I'm sure I'm I'm finding them because he's a local musician. Uh, if you can get a hold of some Harry Pickens, you need to do it. Great, great jazz artist. Um, next jazz band that's a little different the Brooks Giles Harry Pickens are more traditional I guess these are guys are a little bit more experimental I'll take this uh, CD cover it's got stickers on it that I can't get off um, Liberation Prophecy uh, Last Exit Angel uh, Nor Jones actually appears on this album um, yeah Really, really interesting stuff. Um, probably should play this album a little bit more than I have. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's got a little booklet. But they are a little, they're a little bit more experimental. But, you know, not so much that they just go right off the deep end into something that you have a hard time processing. <clears throat> Liberation Prophecy. <clears throat> this next, uh, this next is really not a group so much as a church. Um, here in Louisville, we have a church called Sojourn, um, and they do. They they were a little tiny church. I remember first visiting them. Uh, they were meeting in the basement of another church. Well, this this church has exploded to the point where they have multiple sites, campuses in different various parts of Louisville and even across the river. Um, young church and and very just a very different church. Very maybe that's why they they're catching on so much is that uh, um, that they uh, they're meeting people in a different place than, than they've been met for a long time. Anyway, uh, they also do music extremely well. And when I worked at an inner city uh, mission before I went to my current job, um, I worked with a, a friend of mine, uh, 
Jesse Eubanks. Jesse goes there. He, I'm probably missing out. They've probably done a lot of neat, neat new stuff that I haven't heard of because I don't have Jesse. I don't see Jesse all the time anymore. Uh, but um, Jesse was involved with this. He co-wrote a couple of songs. I think he sang some backup vocals. Um, but this uh, this album, this is Sojourn uh, Over the Grave. It's the music of Isaac Watts. So they, they're concentrating on a particular uh, hymn writer. Uh, but it's this is this is not just hymns. It's uh, it's hard to describe. I'll play, see if I can pull up a snippet of, Jesse uh, did, uh, co-wrote one song, um, or well, he co-wrote a couple songs on this album. One I really like. Now, he, he likes more atmospheric rock, but this one has great guitar lick in it. Um, I hope this is it. This is it. He's not singing lead on this. There's another young lady singing lead. This is one of my favorite songs on this CD. Probably is my favorite song. There's a nice little booklet in here. I don't know if Sojourn hit me with a copyright strike or not, so we're just going to play a little bit of that. Maybe give you different, different style songs throughout the uh, album. sounds that that's kind of got that atmospheric rock sound that, that Jesse likes a lot more but just good mixture uh, a lot of talented people can, uh, have been performing in this church there's a guy named Brooks Ritter who I like a lot who I need to get some more of his music and maybe feature in a video um, I think there's a young lady named Rebecca Dennison a tremendous young vocalist. Uh, so if you ever see anything by the Sojourn, I think maybe under Sojourn Community Church or something like that, um, out, of, out of Louisville here, you, it's good stuff. All right. Show this in my family ties, man. Or, or th hmm. we're going to try English. Um, I showed this band in my Family Ties response to Cloudy Milder's uh, Family Ties thread. Bride, this is a different album. It's called Kinetic Faith. It's the, the album I came in on for them. This is where I discovered them. Great song on here. Everybody knows my name. Um, the Thompson brothers, Dale and, and uh, Troy Thompson, are, are from Louisville. I think. I'm, well, I know. The, he's a, Dale lives in another country now. Um, so, but this is a great, great metal band. Um, I have enjoyed them. I, I have. I should do a feature video on them as well because I've got probably ten albums of theirs, ten CDs. Um, great band. And finally, I'm going to close this regional um, video with a gentleman that I need to get out and go see play live and get this album signed. And that's Mickey Clark, the uh, country, um, the country musician that uh, my mom introduced me to because because uh, he came into Rite Aid and they became friends. But Mickey Clark.
brilliant uh, artist. Um, I can't remember the name of the Oak Ridge Boys album right now, but it's Pink, and it's the the album with Elvira on it. But he wrote a song, um, I think uh, it's called something about She's Gone to L.A., and they recorded his song. So, you know, he sang with uh, John Prine, and just a tremendous talent, and, and uh, they want him probably my favorite Louisville musician so that's kind of uh, it for my regional uh, video I need to wrap this so I can upload it before I go to work so I hope you're having a great week um, I hope you're having a great week go big blue peace people